This is Benjamin Davis with Cointelegraph, and I'm sitting here with Yobi Benjamin. And could you introduce yourself to our audience and tell them what you're doing right now? Hello, my name is Yobi Benjamin, has been said over here, and I am the current CTO Emeritus of Token.io. And now you have a bit of a different opinion on government regulations from what I understand. Could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I am, believe it or not, quite a fan of government regulations. Uh, by background, I was the former global CTO of Citigroup. I currently sit on the Federal Reserve Faster Payment Task Force, uh, Federal Reserve Bank of the United States. So my view on regulation is that regulation is good and regulation actually legitimizes uh, a business. So uh, I'm not a big fan of an uber libertarian movement that says that regulation is bad and we don't need any of this and the world is going to be perfect without any regulation. Now that mentality is prevalent throughout crypto and the technology underlying cryptocurrency is a technology that is hoped by some to be used to sort of disrupt the system and take everything and make it something new. Davos is not like that and you see blockchain all over the place in Davos. Why do you think that is? Interestingly enough, this is the first year in Davos that we have seen so many blockchain companies. The World Economic Forum itself, if you look at the formal program, has probably about two hours of blockchain programming. The issues that concern the World Economic Forum are far more diverse and far deeper than blockchain itself. Um, Blockchain is an important technology, clearly probably one of the most important technologies. But blockchain also has basically, uh, uh, the way I would say, is, has given birth to many great technologies, but also many hucksters. And I think that is common knowledge in, the, in this industry. We see blockchain companies you know, selling things such as, unfortunately, things like prostitution or other types of things that are not really part and parcel of a global, you know, of a global system and shouldn't be the part of a global system. I think blockchain does a lot in terms of uh, global trade, uh, doing trade finance, doing things that are not, that, do, that don't require high velocity transactions or high frequency transactions mm -hmm. but but there's a lot you can do in blockchain you know uh municipal governments property property titles uh you know municipal fines you know all sorts of records can be put on the blockchain but not everything fits on the blockchain when i was global cto of citibank uh we did three to nine trillion dollars of transactions a day and uh, as you know, the blockchain itself in its totality, given all the crypto of Bitcoin and Ethereum, don't even come close to a trillion dollars a day. Basically, because this industry is so hot right now, uh, it opened up the door for a lot of innovation, but also for a lot of scams. And as you said, hucksters, how do you how do you spot the huckster? Look, uh, here's what I see about ICOs, right? There are I, right now. An ICO happens, somebody's come up with a great idea and then suddenly hires two developers, four developers, they write on the ERC-20 protocol and they have an ICO. Essentially short-circuiting what has been a long formal process of an initial public offering. In a lot of ways that's good because it expands access to capital. However, it doesn't give an excuse for beginning to go and offer things to the market that border on silly, mm -hmm. if not criminal. I think that if you're looking for an ICO and you think you want to invest in an ICO, look at the team. This is a pretty standard piece of advice. But look if they're open to getting themselves registered. There are many companies that are doing ICOs that are not afraid of the registration process. There are many companies that are not afraid of regulation and fully put themselves in front of regulators and make themselves uh, available to questions, make themselves available to criticism 
much like any other I IPO process. I personally like ICOs, but given that there are probably thousands, if not tens of thousands of ICOs that are forthcoming, it's a buyer beware market. That's all I could say for that. Great. Well, thank you very much for sitting down and talking to us. It was really nice to meet you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.